All right, hello and welcome back everyone to the stream. Today is a special day for me. I am back to my dual monitor, monitor setup. I am happy about that. I can now get back to regularly streaming some other stuff that I used to stream, not just before and being stuck with only one monitor, my laptop monitor. So that's a plus. I am going back to school soon, so it's going to reduce my days of streaming, but I will try to stream whenever I can, uh, probably during the weekend at night time. Uh, hopefully Sunday series will still continue. I will try my best to continue with the Friday series as well, so hopefully these two uh, still have a place, and then probably on Saturday nights, I will be doing some kind of random stream. It's just probably going to be Kingdom Hearts till I finish through with the story. Then I'll probably be streaming other stuff as well on, uh, on Saturdays after that. So, today... We are opening a hyper crate. I found this one uh, on the GTN a while ago, going for two twenty mil. It was one of the was the only one on the, with that price. The rest were just about four hundred fifty, four sixty mil and up. So it was definitely a great deal. This little Ultimate Cartel Pack, the extra one I got as a uh, late birthday present from a guildie. So, thank you so much, friend, for that gift. Uh, we will also be opening that, but I am excited. And I have Kel with me today. Let me get her in. And, hello, Kel. Smile. You're on Twitch.tv. Well, hi. All right, now that the intro is out of the way, it's time for what I've been waiting for, the Hyper Crate, and that little extra Ultimate Cartel pack. We love it just the same, of course. <laughs> did you buy that one special, or did you get that in an event? No, I actually got it as a late birthday gift from a friend, a guilty. Uh, I got it in the mail yesterday. That's cute. It is. It is. Alright. So, without further ado, let's open this thing. Of course, they can't really be combined because of the timer that's on one of them, but that's okay. We're opening them all up anyway. So, I'll start with the single one, since it's Super lonely by itself. And uh, before I start, for anybody viewing this that's new and haven't seen my first Hyper Crate uh, opening, basically, how I'll be doing this is I'll be opening every single item separately and enjoying every single second of it because hyper crates for me are a super big deal and i want to savor it for as much as i can and that's the plan of course all right on to the first one handlord master key Got an armor maintenance. Life Day Holo Tree. Blue, purple. I don't have any of that, surprisingly, so that's neat, honestly. Ooh, it's an armor set. It's one of the cybernetic armor sets, too. That's interesting. And another armor set. What is with me and armor sets? I've been getting lots of armor sets. 
and the last one, and this one started out with two in the very first uh, crate, so... That's a fun one, though. I like the open jacket look. That's kind of cool. It is. It is. It'll have its use. Uh, I'm really liking the gloves on it. Uh, I'll probably see if some other one that doesn't really have a full sleeve or something, like, if that would reach... Uh, higher up to the uh, part where it just cuts off the sleeve or not, it'll have its uses. I mean, we're, we're going to love every single item, of course. That's my policy. Shocking. <laughs> All right, now on to the Hyper Fate itself. I'm curious how this will impact your... Um... Statistics, because statistically you're supposed to get more... Oh, that's a good one. I like that die. Um, it is. You're supposed to get more higher level stuff if you open up more packs. I mean, we could only see... Ooh, a monument. Since I purchased the Alderaan Stronghold recently, I'm still working on actually opening it up. It'll take some time. This is definitely something I want to see how it looks like. For those of you new, what I did last time was I would leave the viewing of everything till the very end. But there were certain items that piqued my interest and I would like to actually view it before the end. That, so, that one's a cool one. I think you'll really like it. Yeah, this is one of the civic sculptures, so it's definitely something that I will want to see before we uh, get to the end part where we just view all of them. And title and ooh, I like that pet. It looks cute. <laughs> all right, on to the next pack. And I totally forgot I said I was gonna view that monument. I'm gonna view it after this one. <laughs> Cooling Gardens. Hmm. Ooh. That looks nice. I'm curious about that one. Oh, I'm definitely viewing it. And a blaster pistol. Oh, that pistol looks... Oh. It looks pretty awesome, actually. That's sick. It is. And another armor set. Alright, so... Let us that is one of stuff. my favorites. Um, I think I mentioned this last time you did a stream because there's a lot of iterations of the Dynamic Sleuth, but I love it. You know, unlike the Havoc Squad armor set, the triangle on the front of it doesn't do like a weird sizing thing on female tubes. It looks really cool on both sexes that you can choose from, so it's really neat. It actually looks pretty good. Oh, it's definitely pretty good. It dies well, too. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. I love dieable armor. I'm curious to see the uh, die module as well, so... Let us check it out. Ooh, it doesn't look really bad on this armor. This armor... I prefer the darker colors on it, but... The die itself looks pretty amazing, honestly. Colors it's are not nice. bad. Not bad yeah. at all. And it's one of the more accessible dyes on the GTN, so if you're looking for something that's a little different than the medium gray, light gray dye, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg, which is nice. Oh, that's cool. Alright, on to the decoration. Oh, you're going to love the uh, Inarchy one. It oh, is that's so pretty. pretty. Cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, oh, I love this already. Wow! I love this already. This is just... Wow. Oh, I'm definitely that's, keeping that. That's gorgeous. It is. I'll probably put it somewhere at the front yard. I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but we will see. 
You can sell it for a pretty penny, but of course you won't sell it because you're you. <laughs> oh, of course I won't. I love my stuff. Why would I sell it? I am a collector. I collect stuff, and if I have it, then I will consider selling it. <laughs> On to the next crate. The Jawa. Oh, this is lovely. Very lovely. <laughs> That's fantastic. I think there's an achievement if you have him out and kill stuff. I just don't remember what it was. It's a different one. So that's the party Jawa. Um, is the tune that I am on a pub side? It is. Also love this pet. It's so cute. Public Ross Embassy sign. Ooh, that's that's nice. At least the sound of it looks nice. I haven't really seen it, but I would say it looks nice. Ooh, that's a nice mount. That I do love the color. A nice mount. A color crystal gray red. Hmm. Oh yes, I have seen that one. Primordial blaster besh. Nice. On to the next pack. Ooh, a banner. Asylum. Oh, I know what one that is. That's what I have up in the forge room. Oh, that's nice. I love it because it's got that hammer thing going on that looks really neat. Oh, that's definitely cool. And I think I got this one already. Corellian <laughs> Counselor. So that's probably going to be sold. Oh, that's a really cute pet. <laughs> and on to the next. Primordial bla bla. <laughs> ah, primordial blaster rifle besh. There we go. Hmm, that looks. I think. That's probably another one of the uh, Primordial Besh set, mm -hmm. so I'll have to view them. I don't know if I'll actually use it, I'm just going to collect it just because. And Planter... or Iconian Stock. That I almost read sounds... that as steak. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. <laughs> I probably would have read that as steak as well. That's why I took a sec to actually make sure I'm reading it right and make sure I'm not reading it as some food product or something like that. But that I need to see what it looks like. Because Oricon, in my opinion, is a beautiful planet, honestly. It has its forced, chaotic environment, but it's still pretty good looking. Uh, if you exclude all the lava and action going on. <laughs> and we have the Malavi Quinn customization, and then the little companion gift. Alright, so let's check it. Not bad, honestly. Could be worse, yeah. I mean, whenever I see in a planter, like... They aren't my fave. I want them to come straight out of the ground, not be in a planter, but that's... I like the height on it. Yeah, and plus, I mean, if anybody's planning to do kind of like a part or room or kind of like part of a room that's dedicated to 
let's say, potted species of different plants and they want it from all over the galaxy, this is definitely something that will work good with it. Oh, yeah. So overall, the plan is, it's not really that bad. It's pretty good. It just needs, like, an office space or something like that. It needs a little bit of imagination to actually work with it to make it count uh, for what it's worth. Yeah. On to the next. Oh, I think I already have that one. Oh, that one is a pretty one. I have just the um, singular saber, and it's... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think I actually have the dual saber. Uh, the saber staff itself, I think it's on my... Uh, my shadow. Uh, Kage Kote. It's... I think that's the one that I use it on because it says unlock for character in collections. Means I already had it once. And this one I I know I already have because I unlocked it account wide. Because I love this crystal. It just looks super pretty for any <laughs> dark side character. Ooh, a slot machine. Oh, neat. Okay, we have a couple of those on guild in the ship. Yep, I believe if you use that uh, contraband token that you could get, uh, I think it was uh, Lucia or whatever her name was, you actually get reputation from it, so that's nice. neat. Yeah, I think that's the only other way you could get the, uh, I think it was Underwar Underworld reputation, but I might be wrong. I don't know. Huh. We'll go statesman armor set. Do I have it? Nope. I don't have it, but I'm gonna have it now. The well connected <laughs> title. Nice. Ooh, that's a nice vet customization, honestly. Oh, yeah. All right, on to the next. I keep popping in and out of my stronghold, and I keep seeing you there. <laughs> Unlocking those crates. <laughs> Ooh, small statue of ancient horror. I need to see what this looks like. This is a must. Inferno Devourer. Ooh, that looks neat. Oh, neat. I need to see that one too. Oh, a weapon rack. Another addition to my fine collection that's gonna go into the weapons room. I'm actually gonna see all three of these. I need to see them. Oh. Oh, this is good. This is really good. That's really epic. Now I just gotta see how big it is. It says it's for for medium, for large, medium, narrow. That's the hook types. So this is gonna be significantly big. Not not that big, but still. Yeah. Ooh, this looks nice. All right, where did the mount go?
Oh. Oh, this is cool. This that's, is so cool. That's epic. I like the little blades on the little tusk in front. Oh, this is so cool. Right, on to the next. I'm so happy with what I'm getting with this hyper fate. I'm getting a lot of meat stuff so far. Ooh, a sorcerer armor set. Shadow's Apprentice. That's a neat title. And a little starship pet. I have not seen that armor before. Hmm. I mean, most of the armors I haven't really seen. But it looks neat. I'll uh, view it at the end. Uh, so, we are a third of the way through, unfortunately. But we're gonna keep going. Fortunately, you still have two-thirds to go! Yep, always have to look on the bright side, and this is a cute pet. Oh! It has tiny little arms! A crash bin. That's... interesting, honestly. I didn't oh. actually know we had something like this. Yes, so when I was doing shots for... A video I was filming, I actually used a trash bin to stand on top of to get a better shot. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Exactly. Also, another one of the Antique Socorro set. Blaster Besh. Seems pretty neat, honestly. I like how it's kind of like... It gives you that really antique feel. Like it's an old, old blaster. Yeah, like, they found it in the rubble of Terrace. And another Jollogram. May the force be with you. Yes! That's epic! The Rune Seeker. I'm surprised I didn't get that many armor sets this time around. Tanovic customization. But I'm loving the Jollograms. Really? I had zero of them. And now I got two. I'm happy. Fire Orange. Oh, that's pretty. It is. And, ooh, the False Statesman. I actually have this unlocked account-wide. I don't know why I did it account-wide, but apparently I do. So, on the market it shall go. And Corporate Showroom Rug. That's neat. I need more rugs, honestly. The place is huge. One. Yeah, the Alderaan Stronghold is huge, so I'm going to need as many rugs and floor tiles as possible. Yeah. Ah, huh, Sadoween Temple Crystal. I need to check that out. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Advanced Copper Hawkeye Crystal. Ooh, a Hawkeye one. That's one of the rare power that one that gives you power. That's neat. Yeah, if you're leveling the tune, that one is pretty darn helpful. Um, end game less so, but leveling definitely. Vicious Assailant Dual Saber. I don't know if I have it unlocked. It's very industrial, which I appreciate. 
Yep, I don't know if I actually got it the last time or not, because the design itself kind of seemed familiar, but I might have seen it somewhere else. Somebody was tagging it or something. So I'll just have to double check and see. Whatever duplicates I have will end up going on the market anyway, so I'm not really worried about that for now. Especially since it's not something I can use on this soon. But, I need to see that crystal. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's very pretty. And, yeah, it's... The hook type is the ceiling large. Ooh, that's... That's... That, I need to get some more visible for this. This is definitely has to be on full display. And of course, I close up the wrong thing. Whatever. On to the next and to the halfway point. Ah, another banner. Vlaska standing. Hmm. I cannot think about... I can't think of what that looks like. Uh, yeah, I can't really think of it either, but that's a cool emote. <laughs> that is a cool emote. And we got artwork, Haas Starship Graveyard. I actually Ooh. want to see how that one looks. I do appreciate the artwork. I got one that was Tatooine at one point. It was just gorgeous. Oh, that's pretty. That's really yeah. pretty. Let's actually check the, uh, Vosca banner. It's gotta be, like, blues and oranges and stuff. It seems to be their standard. Huh. No, it's very different. That's very different than what I expected, honestly. Hmm. Looks actually pretty good. Not that bad. Yeah, that is very pretty. Yep. All right. On to the next. Hmm, that's a pretty neat crystal. I don't know if I already have this color. I think I do. But I probably have another variant of it. This is the War Heroes, which gives you mastery. Which is never bad. Nope. I was wondering when I get a platinum item. Oh, wow. That'll do just fine. It's a nice chunk of change if you sell that. I probably will end up doing it because I believe I got it last time and, and oh. ended up just selling it. Kick and out of the garbage this can. Is, this is a cute droid. Ah, another Tursa. That's neat. But yeah, this I'll probably sell because when I view it on this armor set, it looks good. It looks really good. But I would have preferred the colors reversed, personally. Yeah. Because they do kind of go well with the Saber Crystal. But if the colors were reversed, that would be way better, in my opinion. Because I prefer it to be darker, like this. And then with the Sabers out, it welds really well. And on to the next. Hmm. 
Metropolitan bench. That's that's neat. I needed more couches and benches, honestly. A lava pool, nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I have to, I get to get my very own lava baths. I am a happy camper. And I actually have this unlocked. That's a nice one. It is. I have it unlocked account wide. Uh, I think this is the crystal I'm using on my shadow. I, yeah, I think I use it on my shadow and on my trooper too, actually. Because this is, this looks really good, whether it's coming out of the blaster or out of a saber. And because it's green, uh, on the exposed sabers, you'll find there's kind of like this green glow emanating from where the crystal is. And in most situations, it's just very visible and out there. Plus, my... Shadow is technically a green Jedi. Got it a green outfit, the green saber, just super green. Don't <laughs> know if he eats green though. Need to work on that. Ooh, this mount looks neat. Oh. I've never figured out how to say that correctly. Lotion or something. Um, but yeah, I do like those mounts. Very yep. consistent. Yep. And, ooh, another city bench. I think I already unlocked one of them, but since the Alderaan Stronghold is super big, and I plan on just going to town decorating it, so I'll probably end up... Uh, keeping this and not selling it, even though I already have one. But this is kind of like the exception to the rule. <laughs> but this, if I have another one, of, if this is a second one of one that I already got, I'm gonna have to sell it. I'm sorry, nothing against you, but if I already got you, Aww. you're gonna have to go. Poor little Kichka. It just wants to be your friend. I mean, I appreciate that. Oh, another Corellius mount. I think that's not one of those that you get uh, from the codes that were out there. Correct. It's in the same family, but it's fancier. Revealing bodysuit armor. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, that's a neat one. Um, a couple people in guild have used the top for some of their, um, uh, like, kind of combined outfits. It's kind of neat. Hmm. I mean, I'll definitely check it out just to see how it looks. A meditation chamber. Yeah, I already have one of those. It's pretty cool, honestly. It's pretty big, too, but it's worth it. It only goes on medium or large floors, but a medium floor, it will be exactly the right size. It's just big when it comes to uh, its height. Oh. I'm going to actually show that uh, because I, I want to see what the armor set looks like. So there's going to be that. I can only find it. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look good on this tune. <laughs> I have seen it much more on female tunes, I will say. I mean, that's prob that probably should have been the target. Uh group or what at least I think the developers meant I mean nothing really bad with it being on a uh, 
nail tunes. It's just, I don't know, my opinion it doesn't look well, but that's just no, me. No, not with that body type. No, it probably would look better on a different body type, but for this one, nah, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. But let's see, where did that uh, meditation chamber go? So yeah, basically it's that little spot right there that takes up the entire medium block. It's just about the same size. Wow. And then this is just massive when you look uh, in game when it's actually put. It's pretty neat, honestly, though. to the next. Ooh, Mantillion Separatist Armor Set. And another mini mech. Nice. Oh, a little Roomba. Yep, just making lots of sounds and noises. Went out. Teal black. I already have that one. So, this will be sold. Shiro, did you tell your audience how cheap you got the cyber crate for? I did. It was super cheap. And again, for anybody that might be joining right now and haven't heard the intro, I got this hyper crate for 220 million credits only. And to most, or anybody that's kind of like starting out the game, they would say, oh, that's just a ridiculous price. To put it in perspective, for the last few months, it's been going for above 400 million, at times half a billion. So to find one that cheap, and it was only that one. There was another one that was relatively cheap too, but it was 320. And that went away quick too. I didn't have the money for that, unfortunately. But it's still pretty cheap considering what the usual price is for it is. And so. something to bear in mind about hypercrates is like, yeah, they're selling for that much, but the reason you don't want to pay 400 is that it is not guaranteed you're going to get that credit back in what you sell even if you sell the vast majority of what you get so i opened one recently and so far i think i have earned back oh i have the numbers somewhere because i track these things because i have no life i have earned back 240 and I sold a lot of it, so keep that in mind. Yep, the last hyper crate that I got, uh, because I'm a collector, I did not really sell much of the hyper crate, only a few items that I got duplicates of already, or that just I didn't uh, feel like it would be good to have, even though I probably just took all of it and sold duplicates only but uh if i remember correctly it was because of the die that's the only thing that i didn't really have any duplicates but i decided to sell because i didn't really need and i had a couple of other dice too that sold for not as much but pretty well i ended up making about a hundred million i want to say just from everything around that. It's probably less than that, but pretty close to it. So since that one was not something that I bought and it was kind of like a gift for me, that was just full profit. But since I already bought this, it's going to be, I'm going to have to take away whatever gains I get from that price and see if it was actually worth it or not. That's, why tracking these things is probably important and i should follow by example of cal and do that but 
I'm too lazy to do that, so... <laughs> If I, I didn't have the document built already, I would not be so uh, good about it. But at this point, it's just following a formula. I mean, at least you're doing something about it, unlike me. <laughs> so, let's see what I got. The holo sign, night bar. Not, not bad. One of the next shot ones. Got the fueling dock. And we got this cool little pale scarcla. So cute. And I hit the wrong button. Okay. Oh well. On to the next. Dauntless Avengers lightsaber. It sounds cool. Oh. That's pretty. It is. And an ember scale do back. I actually already have this one. Yeah? Yep, I got it. I, I want to say it was one of the guild events. Uh, specifically, something with uh, your squad. Probably. We have many prizes. <laughs> Very true. Very true. So that one, definitely going to be sold. Where I never use the tune that I'm using right now and the keybinds. <laughs> no, they're probably just all over the place for you. Yeah. Underworld Supply Locker. I think I already have one of these. They're pretty neat looking, honestly. They're not that bad. Also, if anybody goes to Ilum today, it is just one big lag. Just a heads up. Oh, well, I'll probably wait on Elm then. <laughs> Alright, Coil Monitor. Hmm. I actually want to see that one. Uh, see how it looks. And a mood. Goofy. That's... Adorable. It sounds like it. I love that they use a Sith for it. It's like... That makes Ooh, sense. That's a nice armor set. Whoa. Artifact Seeker. Alright, I want to see that decoration that we got that I already forgot the name. Coil Monitor, there we go. Oh. I think oh. I've seen this before somewhere. Just can't remember where. Yep, this is it. Now, where is that mood? I need to see it. Where is it? There we go. Oh, I have the mask on. Probably not going to show. The moods do not show very long when you... That was <laughs> weird. Okay, yeah. I mean, cool, I guess. Alright, only seven left. Oh no! Why is this here? Okay, there we go. Ooh, chance cube. Oh. That's cute. Nice little toy. Regent's health. Playing with dice. Fun to have on a smuggler or something. Probably, and this saber looks sick. Ooh. Kind of makes me think of Sarah's saber from... Uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Oh, yeah. And Darth Scotia's armor set. Ooh. I like that one. Good callback. Oh, 
why is that? There we go. There we go. Ooh, Mandalorian floor tile. I already have one of these. Yeah, they sell well. But I might sell this one since I already have one. How much was it going for again? That's the Mandalorian floor tile? Yep. That one is going for between 6.5 and 9. 6.5 and 9 million? Yes. Ah, neat. For a silver item, take it where you can get it. Very true. The, the inflation recently of the costs on the GTN are kind of... It's a little much. Like, hyper crates right now are 470 million. No, oh, that's just... wow. Yeah, it's just not something I'd ever be willing to pay. Ooh, I've been waiting for one of these. <gasps> Yay! That's a nice one. I've always wanted one of those Cartel Market companions. So, this They're is neat to get. This is really neat to get. Right, I'm gonna do this so that I don't have the thing appearing for me. And of course it does. <laughs> and it's like a really old one that you looked at a while ago. I I I don't know. And mood fearful. Imperial Hotball Away uniform. I'll get... Ooh, Frontline Veteran. I already have that one. It's on my trooper, and I dyed it black and blue. Which looks awesome on it, honestly. Yeah. Right, only four more to go. And what is this with the random item popping? The day that Shiro breaks. Ooh, this is... Oh, <gasps> this is nice. Very cool. How much is that one? Really need to move this wall-mounted GTN to a different wall. Um... Okay, that one's going for about 5 mil. I mean, I'll probably keep it. I don't know if it's only female tune exclusive or not. It is not. Okay, that's good. Right, and we got a cool mount. The Uber Heath, the R47. These series are not that bad, honestly. It looks weird when you're mounted on it, but it's still pretty cool. And we got this cool research center ceiling light only three more packs to go and why is this happening all right advanced black orange straighted war heroes crystal i don't know if i already have a black orange i think i do so that might end up being sold And another cool mount, along for Staff Royal. I do appreciate the long spurs. They're different. They are. They really are. Ooh, me likey. I like oh, this that's so epic. much. I like this so much. I need to see that. There it is. There it is. 
Oh, this looks so cool. And that's the speckled manka. Yeah, that's pretty darn epic. <laughs> yep. All right, only two left, and okay, I allow the lava pool because I like it. <laughs> Ooh, another black red straighted. But this is straighted, that's not the regular one, so gonna have to see how it differs from that other one and see if I'm actually gonna keep it or not. Mini Mogul. This is the pet <laughs> I've been waiting for. It's so cute. Jaysa Wilson Light Customization 6. Not that bad, honestly. It's definitely... The hairstyle is what gets me. The hairstyle is not my fave because bangs are not my fave, but that's because I had a horrible period as a young child of bangs. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Old scars. Old scars. But yeah, I, I mean... It doesn't look bad. I wonder if the armor set actually kind of like applies to it or if it's just a customization. It would be neat if they would make that the customization would come with the actual armor set that's displayed there to kind of like complete the look, but can't get it all, I guess. Yeah. All right, on to the last pack. Then I'll be viewing each and every one individually. It reminds me, I do need to Ooh. repost some of mine. This is really good. I am liking I... this. Oh, yes, I know what one that is. That one's pretty. Ooh, Tobus Prowler. Nice little mount. Yeah, it is. All right, final item. What will it be? Fight Technographer's Offhand Blaster. Not that bad. No. Not that bad, honestly. I don't know if I actually have it or not. I might have the primary piece, not the offhand. But I'll see what I will do with it. Right. That was it for the Hydra Freight. Now we'll just go down the list and view everything one more time for anybody. That might be viewing. Hello and welcome. I've just finished opening a Hyper Freight. Uh, this stream will stay on Twitch for the default two weeks. I think it was that it usually stays, or it was maybe a week. I don't remember. But just the default time that it stays. I will archive this in my YouTube that you could reach through my Twitch. So uh, let's check out the cool stuff that we got we got this cool white and black die module I really like it but I'm gonna end up selling it because I have really no use for it so this is definitely something I will be selling we got the artifact seekers armor set I don't really have that one. Anything that I don't have, I will probably be keeping. It looks really neat, honestly. Headpiece looks a little odd to me. Looks like I'm wearing a box on my head. <laughs> so, but that could definitely be fixed. You could definitely mix and match other headpieces for it, and it'll probably look better. Uh, but the armor set itself. It looks good. It looks really good. All right. The lava pool. This is not what I expected. 
but I'm still happy about it because that means I still get to sit over lava, get my tween warm, cozy, and toasty. So, this is definitely a cool item. Uh, what hooks does it take? It takes a centerpiece hook, and only the centerpiece. So, this is probably gonna be... I'm, I'm gonna find a use for it, but it's definitely cool. I'm happy about it. We got this cool Nexu companion. I have the mount. I probably have a pet. Now, I have the companion. <laughs> this is awesome. We got this Sh uh, Shadowin Temple Crystal. Basically a big purple crystal dangling from the walls. This takes the ceiling large hook type. Uh, that's the only thing you could really put it on. But it looks definitely epic in my opinion. I am loving it. On to the next. We got the small statue of the ancient horror. And that takes a medium floor large. And a floor medium narrow. I think because that will probably be not as big as people might think. It does say small so I would expect it to be somewhat small. I'm interested to see what the big one looks like honestly. Yeah. But it's really cool looking. Then we got this cool, super cool, speckled mancom cat mount with the armor pieces, little utility belt with, the, and utility kind of like, I don't know what you would call them, but they look like what the ninjas in Naruto would have. That's probably the biggest reason I like it. It's just because of this little detail. That reminds me of Naruto. Because I love anime. I've gotten back into Legend of Korra recently. And I just love it. I wish there was a polar bear dog mount. <laughs> that, would, that would be epic, honestly. Alright, we got this... Republic display case, a weapon rack. Basically, I think it's just regular weapons that would you would see in Republic hands with, of course, Republic symbols all over it. We've got the Zakul fighter. Pretty epic looking. Really neat to have, honestly. Now onto some saber crystals. We got the fire orange indestructible crystal. Basically looks like your saber is emitting fire. Literally, which is really cool. I really like this color. This Oh wow. This looks way better than I imagined it would look, honestly. I think half of it does have to do with that lightsaber though. <laughs> Probably. The, the little effect from the lightsaber itself is pretty cool, but the color itself, if coming from a blaster or something, I think would look epic, honestly. Yeah. I have a question. Go right ahead. Um, what was the name of that armor set that looked kind of funny on that body type? Uh, Revealer? Or revealing armor set, something around that. It just stated what it was and that it was revealing. So I'd say it was probably revealing armor set. Ah, uh, yes, that's the name. It sells well. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, it's going. Um, forty million, fifty-five. So fifty-five is probably overpriced. Forty might sell. 
cool. I'll definitely keep that in mind because I don't know. I mean, I might keep it just to say, oh, hey, I have this armor set. But I don't know. This is one of the sets that I'll probably have to actually think about before I do anything with it. And on to the next advanced gray, red, indestructible crystal. I mean, it doesn't really look that bad. Of course, the saber itself uh, kind of makes it look different than what it would on most sabers. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's the lightsaber that I got. So I got this lightsaber er earlier. It's called the Inscrutable, Inscrutable Lightsaber. So, this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can get a good angle of it. Yeah, that is still really cool. It is. It is, honestly. So, this is what the crystal would look like normally. Without the cool orange lightsaber effect. And it's not really that bad. It just looks like a little bit of a light red. The little gray hue around it is not really that visible in this image, but it might be visible in other environments, so it really depends. Actually, let's check out the fire orange and see how it looks like with this lightsaber. And, I mean, it's still not that bad, honestly. It still looks like the saber is actually emitting fire. Yeah. Alright. Next in line, we got the lime green. Basically, I think this is what Kel likes to call highlighter crystal. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong. No, you are not, honestly. We got the advanced teal black. So, a lot of less shine going on because of the black outline. Still looks pretty neat, honestly. We got this Hoth Starship Graveyard artwork. Looks pretty cool, honestly. I'm really liking it. Now on to uh, some pets. We got the ELN3 power droid. <laughs> A little tribute to the gonk droid, I believe. Which I'm not mad about. Pretty cool. All right, on to the next. We got the Banner Asylum. That's a hanging banner, not a standing one. And this is odd. Oh, yeah, so it looks like junk in the preview. <laughs> I probably should have warned you, uh, but it's the one up in engineering. I'll if definitely... You do show them. Yeah, I might hop there real quick. Yeah, I'm probably going to hop there real quick to show them. Uh, are you on a Gilded Tune, or is it one of the halls? I am not on a tune at all, actually, right now. Just watching you. Gotcha. Uh, well, I'm going to go it's... and have you point the way a bit. Yeah, hold on. Let me hop on... One of my sneakier ones. Alright. I'm gonna make my way to the engineering deck. I don't have my hidden nameplates set up done anyway, so... Oh well, I'll just try to run as fast as I can. <laughs> So 
avoiding people. Avoiding people. So far, so good. And the lava bath that I... When it said lava pit. I mean, I don't know why I just defaulted to this one. For some odd reason. That Kel is just taking a dip there. I mean, I gotta make sure my bike is properly taken care of. So this is what the Asylum banner looks like. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know what's wrong with it in the preview. Who knows? But I love the fact that it has its own wind. I put it next to these flames that also have their own wind. Gotcha. Is that, is that music playing? It probably is. Uh, probably somebody just decided to play music while I'm streaming. Not really surprised. I try. I try. So, let me hop back to the, uh, stronghold. Someone is here. It's a puzzle. Oh, neat. I did not fear because I was trying to avoid kind of like showing any other names in case nobody wanted to actually be present in the stream. Because I, I do know people tend to not really want to. And it's all about consent. Consent is very important in many realms of life. Very true. Though I do appreciate the fact that she has a food name and has multiple food titles going on. Lovely. Nah, I mean, a fellow foodie. Gotta admire it. Alright, back to the spot. Of course, we're invading Kel's stronghold until I actually finish working on mine. It's slowly getting to the point where I'll be able to actually do these in my own stronghold. But until then, I'll be invading this one. Alright, so next on the list was the Waska banner. That's a standing one. And, of course, very different than what I expected, honestly, and I think even different from what Kel expected. Yeah. So, we have that. And, oh wait, I just, okay. Next thing in line, Brilliant Counselor's armor set. And if anybody hears any music in the background, I apologize. <laughs> now, I already have this one, so this will probably be sold, but it's not really that bad. Usually doesn't come with either the, uh, happy with either a headpiece or gloves. So this is what it would usually look like on a tune. So basically, if you have any kind of, like, formal gathering for a role play or anything. This is definitely one of the routes to go. Because counselor. How formal how more formal can you get? That's true. Alright, and then we have Darth Scotia's armor set. Of course this was a pretty I mean, I want to say it was a big part of uh, one of the stories for yes. Impside. Uh, I just don't remember what. I think it was a planetary mission. It was part of the Droman cost for the Sith Assassin. Uh, the gotcha. Sork. Yeah, the uh, Inquisitor storyline, I believe. That one, yes. Yep. It looks pretty cool. I think Scotia had a different headpiece to go with it, which you could probably get somewhere. 
Scotia was a or cyborg. No, he was a cyborg. That's it. I don't. I. Th uh, I was thinking about someone else, with kind of like it. Kind of looked like a cybernetic head, but not real. But kind of like, if, as if he was an entire entirely robot, like the full helmet that is just kind of like covering the entire face. But you could definitely put other helmets here, and it will probably look pretty cool. And on to the next, we got uh, uh, the uh, deck officer die. So this is what it looks like. It's basically a variant of the light gray, dark gray. I think you said, or just yes, yeah. So basically, that's kind of like the car uh, cartel market variant of it. So it's not really that bad, but I'll probably end up selling it because it's of excuse me it's of no use to me probably I don't think I'll ever use it on any of the tunes so to the GTN it will go then we got this defiant technographers offhand blaster so, of course, since this is a preview, it'll always preview it in the main hand first. And I'm pretty sure I got something like this, either the primary or maybe this one. Uh, because of that little glow, I remember this little glowy it changes uh, with the crystal color itself. Correct. And you can see it. Firing off red, uh, let me see, there we go, red blaster bolts, so this one changes with the actual color, which is pretty cool, honestly, but since I already have something like it, I don't know if it's the main hand or not, uh, I'll probably end up selling it, it depends on what piece I have. Moving on, we got the Dynamic Sleuth armor set, which is pretty cool. I think this was the first armor set reveal of this cartel pack of the Hyper Fate. Looks pretty cool. Honestly, I really like the glowing purple that's going on everywhere. And definitely with the right pieces, it looks epic. And from the color scheme, it looks it does look like it would die pretty well. I don't know if the brown is dieable or not. Uh, it's either the brown part in the pants or the gray part in the chest piece. One of those are probably the secondary colors. And going by that, it looks like it might die well. So to check that out and test it out we go to this so yeah it was the pants that was the secondary so looks pretty cool honestly with the right dye it'll be phenomenal yeah all right moving on we got this ember scale dew back i already got it on my tune on this tune in particular so, he is going to be sold, but we still need to appreciate him for stopping by and saying hi. <laughs> Serious look on his face. He means business. Or she means business. It means business. There we go. <laughs> they mean business. They mean business. Alright, moving on, we got this GL-13 blaster pistol which I'm pretty sure they meant a Glock with it I am almost positive that's what they meant <laughs> so it actually glows up when firing that's interesting so it doesn't really do anything once you start firing if you look closely it actually glows up this little area right here. 
I don't know if it's showing right. Okay, of course it's not showing right. So, let me look at my stream. This. Okay, don't move. I feel like this, this is the is closest I have seen a Star Wars weapon to look like a real world modern weapon. So, this is probably one of the ones that actually do so. I do have a weapon that is also pretty cool looking and looks super similar to modern day weapons. It's called the uh, Starforge Blaster Pistol, I believe. And after I finish showing these, or you know what, I'm going to do that right now. Let me head to my collections. So there we go. Yeah, the Starforge Blaster RK5, Starforge Blaster. So, I mean, it kind of looks modern, but at the same time, it looks exotic. But the kind of, oh, like, yeah. look itself, it gives you a little bit of that modern. Plus, I believe this is probably the one that uh, Zoom uses, or at mm -hmm. least super similar to it. But yeah, I think this one... Uh, it kind of looks like something that I've seen in uh, RoboCop. I believe yep. it was the old movies, not the newest one. Yeah, like 80s movies. Yep, that's, that's probably where I've seen it before because I know I've seen something super similar to it in a movie. So that's probably where it's from. But of course they had to give it that little Star Wars twist. Yeah. And moving on, we got the hollow sign fueling deck. So this is what it looks like. And I don't know what was the original position for it, so I'll leave it a few secs on this position. And then a few seconds on this position. If anybody has kind of like one of those uh, Orbish uh, kind of like codes where they see the symbols and can convert it to actual letters, feel free to play around with that. I do know I have something like that saved on my phone somewhere, so I'm sure. going to check that out later. And It probably says fueling docks anyway. That's probably my guess, but it's still going to be fun to actually kind of like check it out yeah and of course we got the uh hollow sign night bar so there we go this is what it looks like uh pretty cool if anybody wants to kind of like make a cantina area in their stronghold not that bad uh See, moving on, we have the house in Rokini Monument. Mm -hmm. A very cool looking one, honestly. Uh, it's a civic sculpture, so I'm actually going to have to need to see it uh, put down somewhere and get a feel as to where I want, want to put this one. Because it kind of looks technological in its sense for me. At least from the preview, that's what I'm getting. So I might put it in the technology room that I plan to do in the future. And hopefully when I actually have a proper, de properly decorated stronghold, I will definitely take everybody on a tour there, hopefully, one day. So that's for later on. So... Let's move on with the items that we've got. This is the Inferno Devourer. Just an epic mount. It kind of reminds me of the Voltilla a bit. Because of the way the hair and the tail looks. Like those little flaming crystals. But that might just be me. I don't know. I really like the blades that are on the tusks on front. So, this is honestly one of the cool mounts that I've gotten. Alright. 
I've already viewed this, but I'll just view it again. There we go. The inscrutable lightsaber. Very cool. Very cool looking. Very gives you that little ancient feel, I want to say, because looking at it, this backside looks uh, somewhat like whoever was making it didn't really have much to work with. So definitely a scavenged kind of like feel. And then let's see if I could get the, fr the front view. There we go. Up close. This is what looks like what it looks like. So it's honestly pretty cool looking. I really like the design on this. Moving on. We got this Jasa Wilson light customization. So I'm not sure if the customizations come with the armor sets. I'm pretty sure they don't. But I would very much like it to come with the armor set because it will kind of complete the look. And yeah, the hairstyle, probably not my favorite because from the front, I don't know, it looks pretty weird. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, definitely not what you would expect, Jaysa. Right, like, just with her personality, you know? Yeah. All right. But the face, the face makes sense. It's just the hairstyle is really throwing me. It's not as um, yeah. It's like sharp. Yeah, it's like some people, uh, when you look at their hairstyle, it kind of defines their personality in a way. I've met a lot of people that are like that, where their personality. You could get a feel of it just by looking at their hair. I know this probably sounds super weird. But trust no, me, it exists. Totally makes sense. So, yeah, th when, when you look at that hairstyle, what I think of is somebody that shops at a Hallmark, <laughs> most likely. And no, that's not because I work there. It's because I've seen people say that that's their play favorite place to shop. And they had that same exact hairstyle. Like, same exact one. It's so, the Yeah. Yeah. It's just... Yeah. That's not Jason. That's somebody else entirely. Alright, moving on. We got the Corellius Marquis. And I believe that's how it's pronounced because I used to... Uh, I, I, well, I've probably seen that word somewhere during my studying of uh, Tilt's Two Cities, so, yeah. So, looks pretty neat. These are one of the bigger mounts that I believe Bioware should add the feature where two people can ride in the same mount. That would be fun. So, yeah. Uh, because, of course, every stream needs to have a Final Fantasy full team mention. It just wouldn't be my stream if it didn't have it, you know? So, here's the mention of the stream. In Final Fantasy XIV, there are multiple mounts. Not that many, about four or five in total, I believe, out of all the mounts. But still, they, have, they, they still have it in some capacity, and if they want, they can add more. Uh, they have multi-seater mounts. One of the mounts is actually that car from Final Fantasy XV. And basically that could seat up to four people, meaning the person that has the mount and three others. So basically you could take your whole group or party anywhere you'd like and travel in that mount. So it's pretty neat. And if they add flying mounts to Slator, that would just add to the epicness in my opinion. Because let's say your friend doesn't really have a 
mount or his mount is super slow or whatever the reason is. And he's maybe a low level platoon. I think I mentioned that, but just in case. You could just hop into your mount and right off to whatever heroics or whatever missions you need. A lot of, because some of uh, uh, most of the missions here don't really have a transport point like heroic missions. Like if you're doing any side quests, if you're doing the uh, planetary mission itself, you're even doing that repeatable extra bonus story for the planet. Now that requires some bit of traveling, if I remember it correctly, and you could all do it. Mount, so that's definitely something I believe would be really cool. So, moving on, we got Kreia's armor set. Huh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, so so cool. It's definitely really cool, and if somebody is going for that I don't want to be known look, they could dye it a different color. Uh, let's see something here. So, yeah, it definitely looks cool. If the colors were reversed, super epic. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. So, yeah, this is definitely, uh, one of the uh legacy titles that I like and I, that I have on this tune in particular is called the mysterious stranger so you could definitely have that outfit nice have that legacy title and just walk around in random spots and freak everybody out all right moving on. So we got the Mandalorian floor tile. Probably gonna end up selling it, but this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. I actually have it at kind of like not when you enter the building, but when you're kind of like exiting it on the other side. Not the other side, like at the entrance and exit area for the palace, the main entrance. I got just a regular rug, and then on the other side, opposite of the pillar, I have this one, so that people that are kind of like leaving, they see this, and I don't know, I'll think of a story for it, I don't really have anything, but I still like it, it's really cool. I'll probably end up selling it though, because I already have it. Alright, now we got this cool little pale Skarkla. Super interesting looking, to say the least. And there it is in all its glory. Just waiting to fight somebody. Also, just from the animation, it looks like it's gonna make a lot of noises. <laughs> Alright, and I've showed this already before, but we're still showing everything that we got. So, this is the Oricanian stock. It's basically a planter. Uh, pretty cool looking, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, really cool. This would be good for an office setting or a plant collection setting. Moving on, we got the research center ceiling light. So, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool in my opinion. It probably is gonna take the light, uh, the ceiling large hook. Yep. So, pretty neat to look at, honestly. All right, moving on, we got the Jawagram toy. And it can't really be previewed, but these two toys, Jawagram party on. And may the force be with you. 
there's probably some preview of it on YouTube somewhere. Uh, if people remind me later on after I actually claim it in one of my streams, I would be willing to showcase it for people. So, moving on, we got the revealing bodysuit armor. Not really good with this body type <laughs> at all, in my opinion, but still interesting to see. I got a, another kind of like, I mean, it wasn't called really revealing, but it was, uh, I mean, it didn't have revealing in the title, but it was still revealing, especially in this area right over here. So, yeah. Moving on. We got this title, Well Connected. Can't really preview the title. Uh, sorry, PvE. We got this Tobus Prowler. It looks like a pretty cool mount. It's actually better than I thought it would look. <laughs> yeah, definitely cool. Alright, moving on. We got the Tund Sorcerer armor set. Ah, oh, this looks pretty neat, actually. Definitely needs a different die. But I think the color schemes on it would make it a super good uh, armor when it comes to dyes. So yeah, it definitely dies super well in my opinion. And that color scheme actually doesn't look really bad. It's just probably the headpiece that looks a little bit odd to me. But I could work with it. Alright, moving on. We got the, the cooling gardens. This is what it looks like. Pretty neat. Could be good for indoor or outdoor settings. Which is cool. Moving on. We got the advanced black orange straighted for Heroes Crystal. So of course with this saber. The effect is just epic. So let me switch sabers. There we go. This is what it will look like on a regular saber or on most sabers that don't have really that kind of like... I want to call it a tuning, but it's really not. I don't have any tunings on this saber, so I'm just going to call it a an effect. A weapon effect. Or close to it, anyway. So yeah, this is what it will look like. Not really that bad. Looks pretty good, in my opinion. Moving on, we got the... Uh, black red straighted hawkeye i got the indestructible variant of it so this is what it looks like the uh hawkeye then of course the indestructible looks exactly the same because they're they're basically the same just give different stats which means i'm probably gonna end up selling both and if i have that one already in a different variant, I'm going to end up selling it as well. So, Copper Hawkeye. I believe I have the Copper one. So that might end up being sold as well, but it looks really cool, honestly. It's different from most colors. It's not really orange. It's not really yellow. It's not really red. It's just all these mashed up together. Which is, de which is pretty interesting, honestly. Uh, yeah. There's not a lot of saber colors are like that and I really like that you could basically get weird weird colors here I appreciate that they give you the chance to have those weird colors because it's Star Wars imagination <laughs> rules exactly 
All right, so moving on, we got the Blaster Besh. Antique Garo. So this is what it looks like. It looks like... Actually, it kind of looks like a toy pistol. In a way. <laughs> I don't know if these two dots change color with crystal or with the crystal uh, or not. So I'm going to try it. Yeah. Apparently not. Yeah, they don't really. Uh, a little bit of a letdown, I'd say. Yeah. But it's but still it a cool one effect. Of the older ones. Yeah, but it's still a cool effect nonetheless. There's something happening with it. I'm happy. But yeah, it looks super ancient. Living up to its name to the fullest. Alright, moving on. We got this city bench. So, this is what it looks like. Not really that bad at all. Spacious, big, fancy. Moving on, the can a casual connoisseur's armor set. Alright, let's remove that. Let's remove that. And there we go. I mean... Again, I think on a different body type. Definitely on a different body type. This body type is not really good with anything that reveals, honestly. Probably body type 3, I want to say, is the best for anything that kind of like has any revealing. Since it's all bulked up anyway. And the hat, to me, looks tad weird. I really like the belt, because it gives you that, uh... Final Fantasy VIII Leon feel. It just needs something... Uh, it just needs this little area right here, this part. It needs to be exact, uh, exactly the same, but on this area right over here. Alright. Moving on. So we got the chance cube. Let's see if it'll actually preview. Huh. That's actually pretty neat. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool one. And I really like the armor set that they chose to display it. I want to know what it what it is because it looks epic I mean that armor set right here that's just super cool <laughs> all right moving on we got the cell monitor just basically it kind of looks like wanted droids or either how to build these droids in particular yeah but it's definitely a forge type Decoration, in my opinion. Mm. Moving on. We got the corporate showroom rug. Not really that bad, honestly. Looks pretty good. Alright, moving on. We got the Dauntless Avengers lightsaber. Which looks... Pretty epic, honestly. I am liking this. Got quite a bit going on with it. But I really think that if those little lines right here, if they would change color with the crystal, that would have been epic. All right, moving on. We got this little emote. Uh, just basically taunting whoever you want to taunt. Moving on. We got this cute little pet. 
fire-bellied furfly. Looks like it's ready to take on your enemies for you, despite its size. All right, moving on here. We got the front uh, frontline veterans armor set. This is what it looks like. Looks pretty cool on this body type, but I do love that one. It it's really cool on a body type three. It looks even better. Mm. And if you dye it, it dyes super well because the orange is the secondary. You can play around with that. The white is the primary color of this armor set. So if you have one of those random primary or secondary colors, you could uh, move that, but it dies really well. So if you find a cool combination of kind of like, let's say... Uh, for my trooper, I got, uh, black and blue. So, basically, the armor set itself is mostly black, and the orange parts are blue. Which looks really well on that. So, moving on. We got this eviscerating empath crystal. So, this is what it looks like. It looks pretty epic, in my opinion. Got that little dark core going on with it, but not so dark. So, moving on. We got the Imperial Hotball Away uniform. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure this is something that you could get and that you could definitely use in PvP or something like that. I don't know if it's a PvP armor actually or not, or if this is kind of like a variant. <laughs> No, it's just a fun one, but, but it's still fun. if you're role-playing or if you're practicing with your hutball team, you know. Definitely. Definitely. This is definitely... Most of these stuff are really good for role-play, just from the name. Oh, yeah. All right. Moving on, we got this Rocky Vulture. Pretty cool looking, out, in my opinion. Really cool. Alright. Moving on. We got the, uh... I want to say low sun? I don't know. Yeah, I, I still don't know. I I think it's low sun. Uh, we'll, I don't know. We'll just nope. call it the nope. LC4. Yes, I like that. The LC4. <laughs> so, looks pretty cool, actually. Not that bad. So, yeah, slim, long, great for jumping, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Alright, moving on. So, we got the Life Day Holo Tree, blue, purple. I think one is right in the background, right here. So, if I just pan my camera around like this, close this for a sec. And there it is. So this is what it looks like. Full size. Pretty cool. Honestly. Super cool. Alright. So we were at the Flight Day Holo. Moving on. We come to this mount. I believe you're right next to one of my Life Day Holo trees. The blue one should be the one that's to your right. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, yeah. Right there. There we go. Yeah. Uh, but moving on, we got this long spur Stap Royal. Looks like you're riding on the face of a droid, honestly. <laughs> Alright, moving on. We got this Malavi Quinn customization. Looks pretty it looks pretty cool, honestly. I like the cybernetics going on. But yeah, definitely a cool customization. Moving on. 
We got this Mantillion Separatist armor set. The colors could do a lot better, in my opinion. But that's what dyes exist for. Exactly. Helmet is not that bad, actually. Uh, but overall, it's a really cool uh, armor set. Just needs a different die, and you'll be set. Yeah. Alright, moving on. We got this meditation chamber. So, in the preview, it looks a little bit small, but if you consider your tune size, it's actually pretty big. Moving on, we got this Metropolitan Bench. A pretty cool looking bench, honestly. Very cool for outdoor settings. We got this best pet in game <laughs> with the Tapporo hat. So nothing gets better than this. Moving so on, cute. <laughs> we get second best mount, uh, not mount, pet, which is the mini mech. Mini mech series are pretty interesting, honestly, as Kel calls them, Roomba droids. Roomba droid! They do look like they would come in handy cleaning your, uh, stronghold for you, but it would struggle alone. If it's in the Alderaan Stronghold. So definitely get more than one. Yes, definitely. Alright. Moving on. We got this little starship. There you go. It's the model FT-8 Star Guard. Pretty cool looking, honestly. So, yeah. I uh, like the little animation where it just swirls around. So... Uh, for these, I need to actually zoom in on my tune face. Remove all the helmets, and then view them. So the first one... Is Fearful. And that's it. A little bit anticlimactic but <laughs> oh well now this one makes it a little bit worthwhile because it's silly but yeah not really much going on with mo with uh, moods so moving on we got the Organa loyalist armor set basically good for Alderanian roleplay, especially since we have the Alderanian stronghold. But yeah, moving on, we got the Primordial Blaster Besh. So, definitely gives that old feeling. I really like that it actually has a lens. An aiming lens. So that, that's actually pretty cool. Yep, that's definitely cool. Alright, moving on. We got the blaster rifle this time. So, same thing with the little scope like aiming bit and still same old semi antique-ish look with a wooden handle on it but less wood definitely all right so moving on we got this republic lost embassy sign this is what it looks like Pretty cool, honestly. Yeah, that's really neat. So, yep. 
I wonder if this is kind of like you could make it as a set where it gives this half of the Republic and then the other half of it you could make it Imperial. That would be cool. Oh, that would be neat. I wonder if the, it, actually that's the kind of like point of it. And I would yeah. be very happy if that's the case. Alright, moving on. We got this Rune Seeker's armor set. So, definitely different. Pretty cool. Moving on, we got this cool uh, Serenity Unsealed Saber Staff. So this is basically what it looks like. And the difference between the unseal, the serenity unsealed, and maybe something like the uh, forgot what it was called, but uh, basically, there's kind of like a different variation where instead of the middle piece, the one that's shown the crystal, it's actually this end right here, and this end right. Here is where it all is exposed. So, moving on. Uh, we get the Series 858 Cybernetic Armor. Basically looks like I'm missing my entire midsection. <laughs> which is not cool. Not cool at all. But, I do know people that would kind of like this. This is definitely roleplay material. Yeah. So moving on. We got a slot machine. Smuggler's Gambit. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the one that uses the contraband token. It might be, it might be not, it might be just one that's just clickable and does something uh, neat, and that's it. But if it is the one that uses the tokens, you have a chance to get reputation from it, specifically Underworld trading, I believe it was. Moving on, we got this cool speckled blurg. Just super tiny hands, very big <laughs> head. I don't know if I could even say it has a torso, but it's basically one giant head with legs and a tail and tiny <laughs> hands, which is cool. It's Star Wars. We like it. So, yep, I got two of these. The splash, the. There we go. The splotched Giska. And we like our Giskas. They look like they don't really have any eyes, which is a little bit weird. But they're still cute. <laughs> Alright, moving on. We got this storm cloud flutter plume definitely majestic looking pet it's so cute i mean this is definitely one of the very cool looking ones here in this game you don't really get the chance to see something like this all right this is the tano vic customization I believe I have this one because I do remember making a comment that he has the Republic symbol instead of Havoc Squad symbol. Yeah. So this will probably be sold. Moving on. 
we have this full stay spent armor set. This is another one where if you want to be formal, this would fit the bill. Uh, but I think it would be better more for superior players since they're the ones affiliated more with the fool. But definitely one of the cooler ones where if you want to act and be an official, that's the way to go. Yeah. And I already have this, so this is definitely getting sold. Then we got this first up paramount mount. It's basically one of the Tursa mounts. Uh, I believe you get one in... What was it called? Karaga's Palace. At the very end of it, you do have a chance to get a Tursa mount. Or maybe... Or was it another mount? I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, there are two Tursos that come from that and Soa. Yep. So, definitely cool mount and part of a collection where if you get them you get a nice achievement for it then we get this title shadows apprentice really cool for shadow role playing we got wild space explorer i already have this somewhere which means this is gonna be getting sold moving on we have this Trash bin. <laughs> I never thought there was one in Twitter, but apparently there is, and I don't mind it at all, honestly. Moving on, we got the Freaky BR-47. Cool looking mount. I like the dark colors on it, because the mm -hmm. one that I have is just looks rusty and old. Because I got it from one of those uh, vendors on one of the planets. Oh, it's one of the 8,000 credit ones? Yep. Gosh, I remember when 8,000 credits felt like a lot. Oh, I remember those times. I mean, it still seems a little bit too much for <laughs> me, but I'm broke anyway, so. Yeah, one day, one day, I'll get there, one day. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is definitely one of the cooler mounts uh, in, the, in this particular series. Which you also get an achievement for, I believe. I believe so, yes. So, we got the Ugo Statesman armor set. Looks pretty cool. I really like the cape on this. I really like the cape on this, honestly. So this is definitely a cool looking one. This is what it will look like. It doesn't really come with a headpiece. But yeah. Moving on, we got the Underworld Supply Locker. So this is definitely a cool one. Not really as cool looking as a, uh, I have a Zikulin themed one that to me looks a, a better. But still, this gives you this old Narshada type feel. If you're going with the Narshada stronghold maybe as your vein and you want to have a locker, this would definitely fit well with the environment there. Moving on, we got this vet customization. Where she's basically a red Sith like Twi'lek. Moving on, we got this vicious salient dual saber. I'm pretty sure I either have it or have something close to it. Because I do remember this odd looking part in the middle. Uh, part that looks like it's wrapped in some kind of cloth or rubber. But, yeah. Looks pretty cool. Uh, cool. And then that should be it. 
I believe the rest are just reputation and yeah, companion gifts. All right, so this brings my stream to an end. We've just finished opening a hyper crate that I bought for very cheap, relatively speaking, only 220 million credits. Uh, usual going price for them right now actually is 470 million credits. So that's less than half. That's, that's a very good price for it. I will be uploading this video, uh, I mean stream, on YouTube soon. Uh, so, just a quick recap, uh... You basically follow me on twitch.tv slash shiro gaming that's shiro with a zero same uh name and handle is for my twitter so shiro gaming shiro with a zero and both my twitter and twitch have a link that leads to my youtube you could definitely click there, I have it just as an archive for uh, my previous streams, and co-commenting today, or tonight rather, with me was Kel. Uh, Hello. If you want to just let folks know how to reach you and what kind of content you do, go ahead, the floor is yours. So I do mostly SWOTOR content, but I also do some random stuff, including Fall in Order and Battlefront 2. If you check out my YouTube, which is just Kel Griffin, um, or Twitter or Twitch, all Kel Griffin, uh, you know, you'll be able to find my content there. And I am currently working on a gathering series, so folks who want to learn more about gathering in SWOTOR, uh, stop on by, and I stream on Saturday and Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Eastern and Saturday nights with Shira, or Sunday nights, sorry, with Shira. All right, and uh, because I probably forgot to mention this, uh, what I usually stream for anybody that might be joining new is, uh, like Kel said, I stream with her Sundays, uh, Sunday nights. That is my Swator stream, usually. If I'm not opening a hyper crate, that's when I'll be streaming Swator. It, uh, basically, the series that we have going on right now is called Flashpoint Frenzy, where we'll be playing the flashpoints and trying to showcase every little thing that the flashpoint has to offer we're not going to be skipping any cutscenes if there's a little cinematic or cutscenes before the actual flashpoint we will be doing that without skipping it any bonus boss we might try to uh unveil and encounter we will also be taking those on we will be mostly doing them on either master mode or better mode it depends uh but yeah that's kind of like sundays uh i usually have fridays reserved for final fantasy 14 for my series final fantasy friday uh that's basically me showcasing the main story of the game and me getting super distracted with the side quests because i'm <laughs> addicted to them uh, but yeah, uh, right now the progress with that is we are about to head into Stormblood expansion. Ooh. So that is pretty good. I believe that is the expansion that introduced Samurais. Basically, that's my main class in that game. So I'm pretty interested to see how it goes. And... By entering Stormblood, that means that we are only one expansion away, which is Stormblood itself, from finally reaching end game, which is Shadowbringers. Which means I'll be closer and closer to actually getting caught up with the story, which is neat. 
Uh, right now also, I know I've been going for quite some time, so <laughs> bear with me, people, but uh, I just want to let y'all know what I do. Uh, basically, another thing that I'm doing is a Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough. Uh, I'm playing it the uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix because the original one, I have it back home uh, in Egypt on my PS2 there, uh, so I can't really showcase that, but... I would say the final mix is just as good. I'm basically playing it just to showcase the story, kind of like a nostalgia run, playing it on uh, easy mode. Of course, I still fail epically, but <laughs> oh well. Uh, after that is done, uh, uh, I'm probably going to think of another series to replace it. And as I mentioned, at the beginning of my stream, I am heading back to school soon on the 19th. That is when my university starts up again. So I'll probably won't be able to stream during weekdays and it'll most likely be week nights, uh, weekend nights only. With the exception of course of Friday because nobody really counts that as a weekday anyway. Everybody counts it as part of the weekend. So, anyway, without further ado, this is the end of my stream, and till we meet again.